not just the coaching staff on the bench. Everyone noticed it. Uh, and I thought Joel and Tobias in particular, they were doing everything they could to get him in the right spot to get him shot. So it was great. I mean, if he gets a look, it, it, it's going in. Well, at least that's how you feel. And then he picked quite the time to get his first bucket in the second half when they were making that. Yeah, that was a big shot. Yeah, yeah, a big shot for us. Um, you know, he, the kid's a great shooter. He is. He has great confidence. Uh, they put Dork on him uh, in the second half. Um, but they had Dork on him in the first half, too. And, um, you know, he was ready for that. Besides that performance, what were your biggest takeaways? You know, Joel. Um, Joel knew that they were going to trap. He never forced it, took his time. Uh, what did he have, nine assists? You know, and, were, and he just, I thought Joel was every bit of, as much as the point guard tonight as anyone else on the floor. Um, I thought he got Seth shots. He got Danny shots. He just, tonight is what, when he does that, uh, he becomes unguardable because you trap him, we get a three. You don't trap him, he scores. Uh, that was great, and he saw it, and, and I love that he did it. I mean, you've talked so much about it, and he's talked about it too, just wanting to be a better facilitator, yeah. unlock that part of his game more. Just, what, what has he done to maybe set himself up? He's worked on it. I mean, he, he works on his game, uh, works on it all summer. Um, you know, but that's the part that people feel like uh, they can get to him on, and now he's proven them all wrong. Um, if you trap Joel, he'll make you pay, uh, and that's what he did today. It was it was just great to watch because you know they kept walking over, coming over, and he was just patient. He just sat and was directing, just picking people apart. You know, he, Aaron, no Aaron Rodgers, we can't use that one because he's from Green Bay. So, uh, but any other good court, Tom Brady ish is what Joel was today. To stay on the bench theme from, from this morning, just they were the group that stretched the lead out to eight. Again, yeah. Just hard work. I mean, today was tough because you had a group of guys that are all the same size, switching everything. Uh, they made it one of those, you know, brag tie tough games. And I thought our guys prevailed. Uh, I thought they all did. Paul Reed got an offensive rebound, and instead of forcing it back up, threw it out to the three. I don't know who made the shot. That's what we've been talking with him all year about. Hey, listen, you're undersized. You're trying to score in a paint over three guys. You got shooters all around you. Just throw it back out. That's why when he did and they called the timeout, everybody was giving him a hug uh, because it was good to see. I'm sorry if you already answered his question, but talk about like Seth in that first quarter. Yeah, it was just great. I mean, we didn't go in with the game plan of getting Seth 28 or whatever he had in the first quarter. Uh, but I was saying that the team recognized that he had it going. Um, that's the sign of a good team. Like they see that he has it going. Uh, and basically they were running Seth Curry left, Seth Curry right on, on post ups to Joel. They were cutting to get Seth shots. Um, it's, it's really great recognition by our group. And for the sign of an unselfish team, it seems like after he had that hot, hot start, he seems like he started being more of a facilitator. Yeah, because they start you know, paying attention to him, they start doubling him. Uh, uh, taking his catch away, and the great part about Seth, you know, he was like, okay, if you're doubling me, we got shooters galore, we got people on the floor. Same thing that Joel did today, so that's growth, that is. In, in, in regards, I know you were talking about Joel before, but it just seems like his leadership, uh, I mean, it's... It's so good, good. It's, um, he's been absolutely wonderful, he really has, I mean, um, it, he's not just what is played, but verbally, uh, on the floor, you know, he knows he has a young point guard on the floor. We went with our V5 set at the end and we scored and Tyrese is about to run something else and he said, you know, feed the pig, keep running it. Um, so, you know, Tyrese's head is spinning right now. Like he's getting so much advice um, that we got to make sure we don't overload him. Did you know Joel was that athletic? I mean, I know he's athletic big. No, he's, he's a, uh, no, yeah. no, yeah. I did not, you know. Uh, and he's in great shape too. So, I mean, the blocks that he's having, the, uh, just as you know, being able to take guys, you know, we got a seven-one guy doing Euro steps. Like it's it's un, it's incredible watching him play. You, you mentioned it with Tyrese, just with his head spinning, and how do you help him kind of parse through the advice? Uh, you gotta you gotta throw stuff out, listen to stuff, and you gotta try to evaluate. Uh, it is a thinking game. It ain't just speed, you know and. And so he's learning that. All right, guys.